It's Teacher Appreciation Week, and all week long, we'll be highlighting the differences teachers are making. And tonight, the story of a man in Hackensack, New Jersey, who usually teaches his students about food, and now is making sure they have food to eat in their homes. I would News reporter Tim Fleischer has his story. The bins of food keep piling up on the front yard. We will give the families enough food for a week. So that way it will sustain them. It's fresh fruits, fresh produce, chicken, dairy, milk, butter, eggs. At the latest count, 225 bins fill Kelly Carroll's front yard and part of his neighbor's yard. And the need is desperately growing. Wait a second, we have a problem here. With losing your job, you got to start wondering, how are you going to feed the people that are in the house? Because there's no money coming in. Period. As a culinary arts teacher at Hackensack High School, Kelly first reached out to his students and parents when schools closed, but suddenly discovered with one family. She'd be embarrassed to tell me what um, her son was eating. That's as soon as she said that, it just kind of clicked. And I said, well, it sounds like uh, we got to, you know, we got to start doing something for these kids. He reached out for food donations, which began rapidly growing from various suppliers and organizations. Big companies are stepping up. Um, People across our town, our teachers are really, really helpful. Um, they help do the deliveries, plus they're doing donations. It's incredible, the outreach. So every Monday, like this one, Kelly and his family fill the bins and throngs of delivery drivers pick up the food. Everybody gets fed and everybody stays safe. So everybody will come down the block. We have a, a little piece of cardboard that's got four names on it. They'll take four bins, a case of chicken, and they'll take that piece of cardboard with the names and everything on it and they'll go out and deliver. He doesn't know how long this will continue. He is looking for bigger space with refrigeration, but Kelly is dedicated to making sure his students, their families, and anyone who needs food will receive it. We're gonna do it as long as we possibly can. Don't get me wrong. Like, as long as people donate and people, um, companies wanna bring food to us, I'm gonna get it to the people. 